What are equivalent equations? So real quickly, I'm not going to spend too much time. Let's say we have an equation here, and I say x equals 2. So we talked about the solution, right? We said the solution is um, the value of your variable that makes your solution true. So if I take a look here and I say, all right, this one's pretty easy, right? The value of x that's going to make this true is 2. Because when I put in a 2 in for x, I get 2 equals 2, which is true. So what is an equivalent equation? Well, what I'm an equivalent equation is an equation that's going to have that exact same solution. So what I could do here is let's say I do x plus 1 equals 2 plus 1. To make this very basic, all right? So if I simplify this here, I have x plus 1 equals 3. Notice how I added a 1 on both sides. These are what we call equivalent equations, all right? You can as long as you add, subtract, multiply, divide on both sides, you're going to produce equivalent equations. And let's see why. Let's see if it has the same solution so we can see why. So I have x plus 1 equals 3. So what number plus 1 equals 3? The solution is 2, right? 2 plus 1 equals 3. So we could say x equals 2. So that's why these are equivalent equations. Whenever you take an operation and you make sure you do it on both sides, you produce equivalent equations, meaning equations that have the same solution. There you go.